and welcome to another edition of Aftermath, Aftermath. <laughs> where something peculiar... Uh, uh, Professor Rima? Yes? What does peculiar mean? Oh, it means something <laughs> strange or unusual. Oh, where something peculiar happens. Aftermath. Aftermath. Uh, uh, let's take a look at today's puzzle. Great. We are going to talk about crayons. Oh, crayons. Rick has 10 more crayons than Lori. Okay. And Lori has 136 crayons. That's a lot of crayons. Mm -hmm. Tom has 10 fewer crayons than Rick. So how many crayons does each child have? Well, uh, I could use some help trying to figure that out oh, for sure. Definitely. That's a lot of information. So we're going to take each sentence one at a time and try and figure it out together. Yay! <laughs> Good. Okay. So actually, um, there's something really important that said uh, that I said earlier, which was um, the second sentence. So I'm going to read the first sentence first, okay. and then I'll read the second sentence, and we'll stop. Rick had ten more crayons than Lori. Uh oh. And Lori has 136 crayons. Ooh, ooh, okay. okay. Now that's really important. We know exactly how many crayons. Lori yeah. had, right? So let's go ahead and write that right here. Lori what, what, has it was 136. 136. Okay, so, so that was given to us. Course. We actually already know that Lori has 136 crayons. Yeah. Now, based on that, we're going to be able to figure out how many crayons Rick has and how many crayons Tom has. Okay? So um, let's take a look at what 136 looks like. Shall we? Yes, please. Okay. Do you remember what this is? Oh, yeah, that's a hundred block. That's exactly right. That's a that means it equals 100. Right, there's 100. 100 little squares. Little in squares there. inside there, exactly right. Okay, now we want to show what 136 looks like. Yeah. This is 100, mm -hmm. and here's 100. 10, uh -huh. and 100... 20. 20, 100... 30. Very good. Now, we're trying to express 136, six. so we need six, six ones. Good job. One. Two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Well done. Yeah. 136. Six. That's right. Okay, now I'm going to go back and read the first sentence again. Rick has 10 more crayons than Lori. This is Lori's. This is this is how much Lori has, right? Right. Okay. 136 and you just said that Rick has 10 more? Rick has 10 more. So if we're not talking about Lori anymore and we're going to talk about Rick, Rick's number of crayons, then what do I need to do? Well, we have to add Ten more. That's right. For Rick. That's right, because Rick has ten more than Lori. Yes? Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, this represents the number of crayons Rick has. So how much is that? Oh. This um, is one hundred, right? right? Okay, so what do we do now? One hundred. One hundred ten. One hundred. 11. Oh, oh, careful. Remember, this is a 10, and this is another 10. Oh, right, so, right. So this is 110, 120, 130, 140, and then we have 6, 146. Six, right. Yes, excellent uh -huh. work. So this means that Rick has 146 crayons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we just need to figure out how many crayons Tom has. Yep. Tom has 10 fewer crayons than Rick. Huh. Okay, this is so, what we're looking at. This is Rick's number of crayons. So, so would you just take one of the those um, tens out? Yes, exactly right. If Tom, and let's write this here. We're talking about Tom, Tom now. Al. Now, Tom will have... 10 fewer crayons than what Rick had. So, yes, so we yeah, can so just ten, move away. 10 less. 10 less. Right? Very good. Yeah. Very good. Now, so we got to count them. Let's count them. 
You do it. Let's 100, do it. 110, 110, 120, 130, and then this 136. Exactly hey, right. He has the same as Lori. Good observation. Look at Look that. At that. Tom has the same number of crayons as Lori. <laughs> Excellent work, Joey. You are wonderful at math. Thanks wonderful. for all of your help. It's my pleasure. And now it's time for Aftermath. Hey, what do you think is going to happen today? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Joey, where are you? Uh, Professor Rena, where are you?